Welcome everyone to another 144 and 360. This one's going to be about the 78.6% retracement. That is any market that reacts from 78.6 should go 78.6 of where it just came from. It also can be the end and start of many a bull market in general. We'll show you a few things here. First, I just want to go over what uh, we put out yesterday before the opening. Uh, soybean, soybean oil in a 78.6% level. Uh, overall, this market remains in a very positive position by being above the long-term swing point, 1303. And it is building a very big base for a next run up, in our opinion. As you have seen since July, this market is, is in a big trading range, and that has been doing a lot of 61.8 to 61.8 moves and 78.6 to 78.6 moves. And we can see the wide sweeping moves continuing for the next month. We've been saying this for the last three months, these wide swings that we are looking for and we'll show you what we've what has done the January contract and this is coming from our Friday update uh, hit the target of 1455 we're still looking for the major GAN square of 1500 half uh, on the rally from the previous major GAN square of 1412.25 however with a quote above we'll watch 78.6 at 1480 half to see if the market is going to continue with its wide swings between the 78.6 levels in the March contract, it hit 78.6 at 1480. This was our long-term target. So having said that, this is what was put out. These are the levels that we do with our premium members. Get them out before it happens and uh, tell you what we can expect from them based on the uh, 144 rules and guidelines. So as you can see here, we fell uh, a couple dollars or dollar short of our a penny short of 78.6 of this move in here and we are currently looking for 78.6 the other way uh, we watch all the retracements and already we've closed under 38.2 if they can't get right back above that you can definitely look for this 78.6 as we are saying the 61.8s the 61.8 78 to 78 61 to 78 all these things are just bouncing off of 61 and 61.8 means that you uh, can look for 61.8 the other way but it also means you're in a, a sideways moving market and a congestion or a building stage so if we go into then the march here you can see the same thing we hit the 78.6 went up through it and you can also see 61.8 to 61.8 to 61.8. You can always close above it, um, but the key is the next day it has. You have to have two solid closes up above a level to do a violation or below it. You can see it all up in here, same thing. So here we are looking for 1396. Now, if we also put that out about the oil and the diesel oil hit 78.6 up here now this is where we say it can be the beginning and the end of bull moves and in this case down here we hit a retracement we should have made a new low that's what we would have been looking for but watching all the retracements we're going to watch the 78.6 level here's where the market turns you can see the spikes down into it they get get out of it quickly turn this whole market around now we have it up here took out the 23 point, well, one day below it, then right back above it, went up to the major GAN square and 78.6, ending this whole bull run here. We've already hit our 38% target down here. And uh, if it doesn't get right back above that, we're gonna be looking for 61.8 on, uh, on that market. And here in the uh, Jan, oil which is now the most traded you're looking at same thing GAN square 78.6 ending of the market uh, close limit down so we'll have to wait and see what happens here but right back above it we can get it back to the highs again if not 61.8 going into the meal uh, we put out this morning that uh, 78.6 to seven is uh, our level was uh, 424 they traded up above it broke ten dollars 
in that day came back later on but again here you can see this whole move down went and then instead of going for the new low and keeping this trend intact it stopped at 78.6 and sent this market all the way to 78.6 the other way just following the same rule 78.6 was what we were looking for and we got that and then again just bringing back the rule until something changes here uh, 78.6 again today so we'll be looking for 78.6 on the downside here uh, any market that truly finds its trend is going to start holding 38 percent that's when you know you'll get out of this trading range when it makes that new high or it has a good run and then starts to hold the retracements on the setback until then you can be looking you will be looking for 61.8 and 78 point moves depending on what retracement they're hitting with the 144 rules and guidelines you get a better understanding of what should happen from these retracements and what should happen even if they fail to do what they should do as these things are all covered in our rules and guidelines uh, we hope you like these videos that we're doing if you do please subscribe to the youtube channel uh, give us a thumbs up and if you trade the grains uh, we'd love it if you'd come take a look at uh, the grains weekly that we do it's a premium members uh, membership and we give all of these levels well ahead of time and what to look for so until uh, our next video thank you for watching and keep an eye out for us